You are concerned about rates being too low, too long. You think central banks have too much weight on their shoulders. But bottom line, I think what everybody wants to know, Fed's kind of looks like it's backing off potentially from another rate hike this year. Do you agree? Do you think they should? I believe they should raise rates. Everyone expects it to happen. It is on the journey for normalization. And the cost of an error is relatively low to a cost of an excessively long delay. Because while we are uh, keeping rates as low as they are, there are issues in the financial markets and other distortions that are, get accumulated. Don't forget, we are already a decade or so into this mode. And the normalization is called for. The economy is improving significantly. Labor markets have not been as well behaved, so to speak, as they have recently. Unemployment rate is low. The duration of unemployment has declined. Even inflation on a medium term perspective is getting towards the target. I would not hesitate at all. In fact, one, I would definitely vote for a hike. In September? Not, in not, September? Not a single move. Let's okay. remember, we are talking about a journey. The journey is restoring normalization, and this will be several hikes. And as it was already indicated by the Fed, this journey is going to be slow but consistent. So there will be quite a few, need to be quite a few rate hikes, moderate in size during 2018, and we should not wait much longer than 2017. What do you tell the people who say, and especially a lot of people in markets, it's like, wait a minute, go slowly. You may be right that we need to normalize and, and get back to uh, not having the, the central banks with these big balance sheets. But guess what? The, the central banks created these ba big balance sheets. They put the liquidity into the markets. Yes, this is fueled markets, but if you just keep on a path like that, you are going to unsettle the markets. You're going to unseat them. And in and of itself, that could cause the next crisis, the next, at least the next slowdown, the next problem. On the contrary, the more you delay, the more disequilibria you accumulate and the more you, may, you need to make up subsequently. I think that nobody can accuse the Fed of being uh, imprudent. The Fed has been, if anything, excessively prudent, and that's a compliment to the Fed. So I think that if the Fed now decides to do what needs to be done, it will be viewed as a very positive element. And I would not let those people who benefit from exceedingly low interest rate have their vote. We have to worry about the economy, the economy in the medium term. The U.S. is the most important central bank in the world. It is the skipper that needs to move our heavy tanker in the right way.